Welcome to Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie Fight Master and this is Hatha Yoga Happiness. We are on day 28. So this will mark the fourth week and we only have two more days to go. So since it is week four, we'll do a more gentle-ish class today. And our topic today is to revisit and look at your goals for the year, maybe the five year upcoming goals and your dreams. Don't forget about revisiting your dreams. So some things that have really worked well for me in the past and that I still continue to do is to write down exactly what it is I'd like my life to look like. And it doesn't have to be it can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to, you don't have to put any limits on it or anything, that's what I'm trying to say. You can, sky's the limit, write down what you would love to have your life to be and the more specific you can be, the better. And another thing that I do that I love to do is make a vision board. And yes, I know it's kinda you know hippy-dippy, but I love it. I go through magazines, I cut out pictures, I put pictures on there that I like. Um, it's crazy, in the past I've made vision boards. I love horses, I had a picture of a horse on my vision board, and then I actually, months and months later, started to um, work with a horse board or not board it but um, work with it just part time. It was it looked exactly like the horse on my vision board. I couldn't believe it. And Elmer, I have a picture of a little gray kitty cat, fluffy, on my vision board. And years later, Elmer is here. So I don't know. There's something to it. I was for whatever reason, those are the things that I chose to put on and they happen. So I totally encourage you, get a big piece of poster board, start cutting things out that speak to you, things that you want to bring into your life, and just watch what happens. So our practice today, as I mentioned, will be a little gentler. Have your blocks and your strap and a pillow or blanket to sit on, especially something to sit on today. And let's roll out our mat, put on something comfortable and get started. So we'll begin sitting in a comfortable position and just start to settle into your breath. Start to breathe in and out through the nose. Close your eyes and just notice a feeling of connectedness, a little grounding to the earth, to the surface that you're on. And if you don't feel it today, let's take the fingertips to the floor and just allow the hands, one or both, to help us feel that connection and that grounding. And let's imagine today that we have something attached to us that's pulling us down toward the center of the earth and making us feel, again, very stable. And imagine that it's something in the color red because red is for the first chakra and the first chakra is about grounding. I like to imagine like a red cord connected to my sitting bones and just being pulled down toward the center of the earth. And then from that firm foundation, start to lift away, become lighter in the spine, lighter in the body, and then the torso. And then let's stick the hands together in front of the heart, creating our own intentions today. So create an intention around your dreams, your goals, something that can help you to bring them into being. So maybe focusing and visualizing them as if they're already happening or just becoming clear about what they are. Let's release the hands. Let the eyes softly blink open. And we'll do a little bit of movement to warm up the spine. So as you inhale, bring your chest forward, lift your chin, look up gently. Exhale, rounding the back, draw the chin down, pull the belly in. And do this a few times. So inhale forward, widen the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, rounding. Inhale. Exhale. And then coming to neutral, just gonna make some circles with the torso. So bring yourself off to the right and then forward. And 
hand to the left and round back. And then just pause and go the other direction. And close your eyes while you do this if you like. One more circle this way. And then coming through to seated, we'll switch the cross of the legs so the other shin is in front. Inhale, reach both arms up nice and tall, pull the ribs and belly in. Exhale, bring your right hand down, lean over to the right side, let the right elbow bend as much as it wants to. Let's stretch in the side body. And let the shoulder blades relax, especially that right shoulder. And then inhale, come on up, stretching out. Exhale, the other side. Left hand down, reach off to the left side. Stretch through the right side body. Let this shoulder relax. One more breath. And inhale to come up. Now take your right ear to your right shoulder. Take your hand on top of your head, reach your left arm out, flex your wrist, and let both shoulders relax away from the ears and breathe here. Just get a nice little stretch through the neck. So you're not pulling with this right hand or arm, you're just letting it rest for a little more weight. And then releasing back to center. And left ear to left shoulder, left hand on the head, not pulling, just resting. Right arm out, flex the wrist. Breathe. Relax. And then bring it on back to center. Bring your fingertips in front of you. Pull your chest forward as you inhale, get really long. You can stay right here or walk forward any amount. I'm gonna let my head go down and rest on my hands because it's comfy. And then come on up. Switch the cross one more time so the regular shin is in front, and we're gonna do that forward fold again. So hands in front, pull the chest forward as you inhale. Exhale, walk forward any amount. Let your head rest on your hands. And then walk yourself up. So we're gonna take a pranayama practice called Nadi Shodhana. So with your right hand, and hopefully this will work out okay because I'm trying to mirror you. So this is actually my left hand, but you're gonna pick your right hand. Take your first two fingers and put them down onto your palm. Then closing off your right nostril, inhale through your left nostril. Hold your breath, close off both nostrils. and then exhale your right nostril. All right, and it just keeps going like that. Inhale right. Hold, close it off. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Now inhale right. Hold, close it off. Now this time lift your belly, lift your pelvic floor muscles, drop your chin a little. Keep holding. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold, close it off, pull the belly in, pull the pelvic floor muscles, lift them up, drop the chin a little, these are our bandhas. So holding bandhas. 
exhale right. Inhale right. Hold the breath, lift the bandhas, pelvic floor, belly, drop the chin slightly. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold the breath, lift the bandhas. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold, lift the bandhas. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold, bandhas. Exhale right. We're gonna do one more round, holding a little bit longer if you can. If not, just let it go when you need to. Here we go. Inhale right. Hold, lift your bandhas. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold, engage the bandhas. Exhale right. And release. Take a few natural breaths. And just notice. This helps to even out the amount of oxygen that's taken into each side of the nostril, which actually affects how much oxygen reaches the brain. I'm going to put a little description about this pranayama below because I think it's pretty amazing. So keeping the eyes closed, if you're comfortable sitting, stay sitting. If you're not, you can lie down and get a comfortable shavasana position, maybe with a pillow under your head or a blanket rolled up under the knees. I'm gonna do just a little bit of meditating. So for this meditation, it's really easy. You're just gonna keep breathing and you're gonna count your breaths. So as you inhale, that's the will count as one. As you exhale, that will count as two. Inhale will count as three. Exhale will count as four. And so on. When you get to 10, start again with one. So it's going to be quiet for a little bit as you are counting your breaths. And then in a, a few minutes after we meditate here, I will come back and bring us out of it. So, just to enjoy your breathing and try not to attach any judgment to it. So really this is all about creating some mindfulness. So when we are mindful, we're present and we're in the moment. So that's really what it's, it's just an exercise in being mindful. So there's no right or wrong way. If you have gotten away from counting the breaths, just remind yourself gently, go back to it without any judgment. And anytime you're ready, you can begin. Maybe you already have.
Continue your breathing. Continue focusing on your breath. So we're gonna do for a little bit longer, but this time, instead of counting one inhale, two exhale, three inhale, four exhale, count one inhale, one exhale, two inhale, two exhale, or you can do three inhale, keep the exhale silent, four inhale, continue on. Wherever you are, make your way to 10. Or if you're not close to 10, you just start it over. Just release the numbers and focus in on your breath. And begin to bring your awareness back into the body. Again, visualizing the grounded sitting bones as you're continuing to be pulled down towards security, towards safety. But as you're being pulled down, you still feel light enough that you're free. And let your eyes softly Blink open without focusing on any one thing right away. And if you need to change the position of your legs, you may do that. If you're lying down, make your way back up to seated. I'm gonna do one more pranayama practice. Just in case you have to go someplace and cross your shins with the other shin in front if you've been crossed. So if you have stuff that you need to do today still, I don't want to send you out into the world sleepy. So we've done this one before in our practice. This is the Kapalabhati breath. It gives us energy, it warms us up, it wakes us up. Just so remember it's inhaling and exhaling all through the nose. And the inhale is more passive, the exhale is more pronounced. So it goes like this. Every time I exhale, my belly is pumping in and up. Okay, so we'll do two rounds and 54 pumps each. That will equal 108, which is a very auspicious number. So start with a couple rounds of breath together and then we'll begin our first round. So get a comfortable seat. Take an inhale. 
And exhale. And again, close your eyes if you wish. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, first round, here we go. Inhale. Begin. Inhale, hold. Now lift your bandhas, pull the belly in, lift the pelvic floor muscles, drop the chin, hold the breath. If you need to release it before I do, that's fine. Release the breath. Big ujjayi inhale. Ujjayi exhale. And again, big inhale and we'll begin. <laughs> inhale, hold. Pull in the belly muscles, lift the pelvic floor, drop the chin, hold as long as you can. Release, exhale. Ujjayi inhale. Ujjayi, exhale. With your eyes closed, bring to mind one or two goals or dreams that you really, really would like to accomplish this year. few more breaths, continue to visualize with as much detail as you can bring in. And then slowly take another long breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do that one more. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Let your eyes softly blink open. Let's get our quote for today. So this is a nice quote from Audrey Hepburn. She said, Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. If you write down the word impossible, it spells out I'm possible too. Let's bring our hands together. Hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communication, sending out positive and loving energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. I'm proud of you for sticking with this. Especially today's practice isn't always easy if you've got one of those type A personalities that likes to keep moving. So good for you. I hope that you're feeling good. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.